All right, which country does this flag belong to? Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. I did it. Now, yeah. what about this one? Okay. Oh, that one's tricky. Mm -hmm. Um, that one is Italy. You're close. The colors are similar, but this is the flag for Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. I like that place. Yeah. Yeah, they have lots of beaches. That's true. <laughs> Beautiful beaches. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome, so, friends. Yeah. Boggle and I are getting to know the flags of different countries yeah. all around the world. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should try playing this game with my friends. Oh, do they like flags too? Yep, yep. Well, they're kind of moving far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're really nervous about making new friends. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's definitely understandable about yeah. being nervous. I remember when my family moved to a new place when I was in grade five. I wasn't really? sure if I would make any friends. But guess what? What? Well, on my very first day of school, a girl came up to me and introduced herself right away. No way! Yeah, she ended up being a great friend, and she okay. chose to love like Jesus that day. You know, what? there's even a story in the Bible about someone who went to choose to love like Jesus and became friends with someone new. Wow, oh, can we hear that story? Please, please, please! Yeah! I, I think it actually might help my friend. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, but first, let's give ourselves a brain break with okay. this fun game called <gasps> Whose Shoes? Oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Can you guess which Bible character would wear which croc charms? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. And then after, we'll work the rest of our wiggles out with our worship song. Right. So we'll see you all back here really soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you ready to play Whose Shoes? Can you guess the Bible character by their customized Crocs? Let's see if we can guess who we think would wear these Crocs. All right, first up, we have some shoes with, it looks like a boat and an umbrella with rain and a rainbow. Who do we think that could be? Hmm. It was Noah. I could totally see Noah rocking those. All right, let's see who we have up next. Okay, we've got another bow and a whale and a number three. Hmm, who do we know has a Bible story with a whale? That's right, Jonah. Jonah spent three days in the whale and his crocs look like that too. All right, next up. We look like we have some leaves, a fire, and two waves parting away from each other. Whose story does that remind us of? Moses! Moses parted the Red Sea and he talked to God in the burning bush. Those are some cool crocs. All right. Let's see who our last pair of Crocs belong to. We've got a really colorful coat, a pillow where it looks like maybe someone's sleeping or dreaming, and then someone who got sent to jail. Oh no! Who do we think would wear these Crocs? Joseph! Joseph had that amazingly colorful coat and he went through some really hard things. Awesome friends, thanks so much for playing with me.
I'm set on doing what you do. I'm gonna share your love with the world. Raise it. Before we start our story today, let's try something fun. Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's learn how to say hello in a couple of different languages. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. In French, hello is bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> I did that really good. <laughs> you did. <laughs> that was great. Time. All right. <laughs> let's next try hello in Spanish. Hmm. <gasps> Well, I don't know this one. Oh, wait, no, I do. I do, I do, I do. Yeah. I've been doing Duolingo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hola. Can we try that together? Yeah. Hola. Hola. Good job. I'm like, hola, Holly. Hola, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great. Next is hello in German. <gasps> Guten Tag. Can you guys say that together? Let's okay. try it. Okay. Guten, Guten Tag. tag. Good Hi, job. Yeah, it kind of sounds like... Tag. A little bit, yeah. Guten tag. Guten tag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. But what, hey, what about hello in Japanese? Oh. Yeah, I haven't learned that one yet. No, that one's really fun. It yeah. is konnichiwa. Oh. Can we try that? Okay, yeah. Ready? Can you say it one more time? Yes. Yeah. Konnichiwa. Ko konnichiwa. Good job. Did I do it? Yeah, you did. Oh, good. All right. Wow. And finally, we have hello in Swahili. Oh. Which is habari. Habari. Yeah. Habari. Let's try it. Okay. One more time, ready? Yeah. Habari. habari. Oh, I like that, Holly. That is so much fun. It is. Yeah. You know, to know to say hello in so many different languages. You know, think of all the friends you could make. Exactly. Yeah. Jesus mm -hmm. loves everyone. Yeah. No matter where they're from, what they yeah. look like, or what languages they speak. Mm -hmm. And he wants us to love everyone, too. Right. See, before he left, Jesus had instructed his followers to love others and to tell them all about who Jesus is. Right. One of Jesus' followers was a man named Peter. <gasps> Peter. Find our little Peter puppet. Here's Peter. Okay, can I say hello to Peter? Yeah. yeah I'm going to honestly say it in Spanish. Okay. Okay. Hola, Peter. <laughs> Hola, Peter. <laughs> That's so cool. Peter loved Jesus a lot. Yeah. And he knew that Jesus loved him. So he wanted to share the news with everyone. He shared it with his family. Yeah. Oh, I like the hearts. Yeah. Uh, bonjour, Peter's family. Yes. Bonjour, <laughs> Peter's family. Yeah. And he shared it with his friends. <gasps> He's got lots of friends. Lots of friends. I want to say it in, in German this okay. time. Okay. Yeah. So, guten tag, Peter's friends. <laughs> guten tag, <laughs> Peter's friends. Oh, man. But then yeah. Peter came across someone he didn't know. A oh. man named Cornelius. Cornelius. That's mm -hmm. a cool name. I yeah. like that name. Yeah. Um, uh, just let me remember. Uh, oh, yeah. Konnichiwa, Cornelius. <laughs> Good job, Muggle. <laughs> I did it. Even though Cornelius was different than Peter, Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone. And he chose to share that news with Cornelius. All right. Cornelius was so excited to hear about Jesus' love for everyone that he ran and told anyone and everyone he knew all about Jesus. Wow. You know, yeah. So Jesus wants to love others just like he does, right? Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean just our family and our friends. That's right. Your friend who is moving away may still feel nervous yeah. about making new friends, mm -hmm. but there are lots of people in the world who are kind and loving. 
just like Jesus. Wow. And we can help others too, right, Holly? Mm -hmm. You know, those who are new or maybe they don't have a lot of friends, you know, by showing them love like Jesus. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think your friend is going to have a great adventure in their new home. Yeah, I think so too. All right. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's go see if they want to play our side game with us. And yeah. You know what? I bet we can even figure out how to maybe play it online with them sometime too when they move away. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you back here next time as we discover something brand new about what it says in the Bible. And who God is. And Jesus' amazing love for us. Yep. Bye-bye.